you know, if you keep hunting for things, you'll find things that some other people might like that you might not like. I mean, like, I don't like certain things and um, with anime mm. stuff. I don't even, I mean, I'm not into Naruto. I'm not into Pokemon uh, or uh, One Piece. I've watched about 12, 24 episodes of One Piece. It doesn't do my, It doesn't do it for me, but because I'm more into fantasy and um, sci-fi, you know, that sort of thing, my brain's wired a different way. But I, I can appreciate anybody who likes Yu-Gi-Oh and One Piece, and so I will make sure that's available. I won't, I'm not one of those guys who say, "Well, just because I don't like it, I'm not going to have it." That's mm -hmm. those days have, don't even exist anymore for me. You know, it's just like whatever anybody likes, we will try to get to be there because I think that's anybody. A hard thing know, with collecting is like you tempted <laughs> anything that fits in the niche. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, Mr. Burns when it used to be cool. You know, it now is, it's like, it, it, it is cool. <laughs> I mean, it is cool, but I mean, like, The Simpsons has gone like somewhere down the drain with them. Ah, oh, it's still out there. You know, you know, finding finding really cool stuff like you know, like um, you know, the X Files cup. It's neat, but I mean, I have to be honest, I don't really get the the cup collecting scene. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I've just started, so I'm. I'm I'm, I'm going to stop, be with stop while you can. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to grab a couple and say these are the ones I'm going to keep. Once you fill your your anyway. cup cupboard, you you should stop. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, it's actually, too late. I'm actually going to be parting with some of them, and um, you know, have you been drinking stuff. coffee from them? Oh no 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 no! I have my <laughs> own I have my own ones there, like um, you know, Wasp and the Ant Man. I think there is. Uh, Doctor Strange. Um, it's a couple that they stay in that cupboard and they get used. The other ones, they just stay, come up and stay there. So, you know, you got stuff like this, oh. you know, that will be, um, that we'll be bringing and putting out there. Um, there's some, yeah, there's some little, <laughs> you know, that you can find here and there and stuff. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know, there is someone, something for someone. That's that's going to be coming. I mean, well, Tamo like often said, like really brings a, like a a fifty cent or a dollar tray of like little random things like that. Where they're niche, yeah. but they're not really. You just pick them up because they're Ninja Turtles or a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah someone like a, will like it. Maybe like about, uh, something like about uh, fifty cents each, or or three for two. Yeah, and that's good for kids three, who four just four want dollar, some, want want yeah. the memento. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like this one. I, I, this is my own. This is the sister of um, Demon Slayer. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I've seen that. Cool, yeah, it's such a cool figure. It and is pretty cool. It's yeah. It's got a, you know my own private collection because I just I like like this this one of the things I think a lot of people don't understand about storytelling and a good story is a relationship between characters and. And how you know how they behave towards each other, and a lot of times now they try and deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct what it means to be a family and all this crap. I'm like, what does it mean to be a family? You know, and I think that's what the I think what really grabbed a lot of people about Demon Slayer and what got it for me was the sister and brother thing, right? It's the whole the brother, they the you know, and and you see this from issue one, the first five minutes. You know, you so, see, you know, you'll find out what happens in it if, if, you know, I'm just going to say spoilers, right? So in Demon Slayer, right? So in, in about three minutes, I'll stop spoiling it. So if you haven't seen Demon Slayer, it's worth saying. So here's a spoiler. All his family gets killed. His sister is, is slowly becoming a demon, right? Now, she, her teeth, you know, thing is that they, they demons basically eat people. So the, the, uh, he, he he doesn't want her to die, you know. The slayer, you know, the slayers are going to kill her, right? So the, it, the he puts a bamboo on her, puts it in a box, and carries it around. And this is the the uniqueness and the amazing story is just around the two of them because of that. All he's trying to do is save his sister. That's all that matters to him. You know, he's not trying to be a hero. He's not trying to be anything. He's just trying to save his sister. That's his whole thing. And through it all, all the story that happens, he comes to get stronger because how is he going to save his sister if he's just a young little kid? 
with nothing, all right? So he gets stronger, he stronger and stronger and so on. But the key thing is his whole aim is to save his sister, turn his sister back into a human because that's what he's got left. And I think that's the thing that what resonates with young kids because of their siblings and all that and tells you the importance of your siblings, what happens if your family's gone, what happens if your siblings are gone, all the other siblings are gone, all you got is left is one little sister. And it could be a, could have been a brother, you know, but, they, but the reason they make it a sister is because we're more emotionally tied to females as a viewer, as a reader, than we would be tied to a brother-brother relationship, right? We think that's that strategic. Yeah. Yeah, it's very strategic in how they do, tell stories. And I think that's what people don't get. And then you look at, I mean, they people do get who read it. Those people who don't get it, who say, oh, why has he got the thing there? It's like he, that whole thing is there because of the, of the whole plot of the fact that he's trying to think. So he's not trying to belittle her. He's not trying to do anything to her or subdue her or anything. He's just trying to save her or else if she steps out she'll be killed by the other demon slayers who are basically want to kill her anyway and the other the other thing on there is the ten commandments you've seen the ten commandments right nope is it ten commandments what's it on it's uh oh gosh i think it's a, i always keep saying it's a, i'm not i don't think it's the ten commandments but i always think it is the ten commandments oh that's the bad guys the can ten commandments are the bad guys the sin um ah oh, it's um this um Oh gosh, there's about the ten bad guys, which are called the Ten Commandments, and then the evil guys are the good guys. And uh, it's about the. Is this on Netflix or what's it on? It is on Netflix. I started um, watching that Philippines manga, the Tresse. Tresse. And she's like, there's a, some kind of deal with the demon signs, and then they're breaking it all of a sudden. She's like a elite demon hunter. I started watching that. That was all right. Is it is it made in Philippines or is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's set in the Philippines, which is interesting. I mean, it looks like your average nighttime city. I wonder what they call them um, manga or what they call their comics because I know. So you got Manhua is a Korean. Manhua H U A is um, Chinese. And manga, of course, is um, Japanese. What, I wonder what they call their comics. Yeah. yeah that... the, um, so, but the latest um, manga that I'm reading right now is um, Revolt of the of Ragnarok or Record of Ragnarok. Oh, I saw that. Is that good? It is good. The anime oh. is very, um, I'm sorry, the manga is very good. I was trying to keep my eyes open last night to watch it. So record of uh, record of. Um, it looked good art wise, but I wasn't sure. Like the name didn't it, exactly inspire the most awesome <laughs> thoughts. It, it's, but it's um, they did do a good job in the anime. Uh, the manga is a must watch. Um, I, I mean, nice. must read because it's like I'm so used to reading um, manga now that I can just read backwards right left right to left i should say oh yeah i find that hard yeah oh i think after you do about um you know about a, a one or two volumes your your brain just says yeah this is how i read it because i'm not reading comics anymore so i'm i'm reading that way now can you flick back the other way like what happens when you try and read a normal comic now i'm sure i'll be able to read it's i mean you're just reading up and it's down really. <laughs> it won't take that much effort i think um the cool thing is, I think, you know, you've got a colorless, um, you know, we've always in the, in the West have been worried about color, 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 right? It's got to be colorful, colorful, colorful in the comics. And here comes manga. It's like one or two pages is um, color. So you know what the characters look like, what the costumes, are, you know, uh, design is like, what the, what the colors are, they're using. And then they go straight into like black and white. And then I, I think back. you could argue the color, though, I mean, for Western, maybe not so much as children like bright, yeah. bright colors is probably more why comics are brightly, you know, like it's true. cool having bright colors, but it's, it's probably more so because it's perceived as a child thing rather than anything and, and else. And the visual element of having yeah, color. Yeah, for to be exciting for younger people, like colorful, vibrant. I quite like and, color stuff. I can read good black oh, and yeah. white, like, but... Yeah. Like on the whole, like I appreciate color more probably. 
Yeah, it is harder, but sometimes to distinguish be between things. Like I had a really hard problem with one of like uh, one of the action sequences trying to because he had done it in a really tight, like it was like very slim panel in between other panels where Thor goes in um, swings at a uh, Lobu, Lubu uh, from record of uh, Ragnarok, right? Uh, their fight between the two. And so when he's like, he swings, the guy's going back like this. I'm like, what's happening in the scene? Because I couldn't, I mean, in this panel, I couldn't figure out. Now, if it was color, I'll be able to say, that's a skin. That's his face there, right there, right now, right? But oh, because he lost him. But yeah, but because I, there was no color, I couldn't differentiate what was happening. So I had to really look hard, which meant like I was spending like about 30 seconds trying to figure it out when I could have just went, boom, that's his face. I moved on. And yes, there is that part of it when you don't have color there. But I think the other thing is, um, of course, there's a speed element to it as well, right? And the simplicity, not simplicity in the sense of like, it's not that hard to do. Simplicity in the sense of there's like only one or two people doing it, you know, you um, where you don't have like um, a colorist coming in, laying the flats and then doing the um, 3D uh, shading and so on. But, I, um, you know, I think the hard, hard sell for, I think, for a lot of people who are used to reading colors, I mean, sorry, reading comics, like you said, one way and then having to go back, but that could be a hard transition. And some of the, so I, I've, I'm, I think some people have mentioned that to me in the past about that. And I was like, I've sort of, it's taken me maybe five years from when I, start, when I was first selling manga to actually reading manga to where I'm okay with my reading manga, you know, really going, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm into this. I like uh, having because, a peek, but it feels backwards. Like I open the book at the front of my, uh, <laughs> it's yeah. the end. Well, if you're doing it digital, <laughs> you know, if you're reading it digital, it wouldn't matter. It'd be the because, same, yeah. It wouldn't yeah, matter. Yeah. So whereas, it would like, put itself in the right order. Yeah. It's, it's like when you pick up a book, flicking to the last page it, for me is like it's bizarre. Like the answer. Unless I wanted it. to see the glossary or something. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I think it's just a different um, cultures, and I, um, but now, you know, as we know, with the, it's so uh, ra is it rampant? The right word? Rampant uh, could be. Yes, so so much of manga is available now in the West, and you could basically, you know, I I I'd rather order more manga for the library than I'd order comics now. But I would, you know, if I unless I saw something from the two, you know. That was available from like from vertigo or something like i did the other week picked up a whole bunch of vertigo comic um graphic novels i miss i miss old vertigo i miss in the senti uh from from marvel i was thinking about that today and i miss um karen burger for um for dc vertigo the two greatest female editors in my lifetime god in comics, I should say, in comics. Karen Berger and Anna Senti. Anna Senti, I think, was with um, X-Men series, and Karen Berger was all the cool um, stuff like uh, Swamp Thing, um, Preacher, uh, Transmetropolitan, uh, Fables. What else? It's just so I can many. tell you're a writer because I, I probably, off the top of my head, I couldn't name an editor, editor other than Stanley. <laughs> Oh, I wrote. Um, I I wrote to um, Karen Berger for Hellra That's yeah. the other one, Hellraiser. And you know, and I think she, yeah, I think she might reply back in it somewhere. It's, it's somewhere that comic book. Oh, that's nice. Well, I probably yeah, didn't get appreciated a, that much. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, I think it was number two seventy five or two six six seventy one. But that's the thing. Like, I mean, they knew what to do with a writer, right? What to get the best out of a writer, how to get that writer story out. 